Probate is a term that's a lot more broad than most people realize. Um, it has a bad reputation because people think probate is something that's automatically expensive and bad, but it can be a very simple process and sometimes it's the best process to go through to get things settled. But it also includes managing an estate for someone who's incompetent. So it can be a guardianship situation or someone who dies with or without a will that needs to have probate. The process of probate depends on whether or not you have a will and whether or not it is a good, valid will. It's important to have a will that's drafted by an attorney who knows what they're doing so that that will can make it smoothly and quickly through the probate process. If someone has a good will written by an attorney, I can have the application for probate filed and we can be finished with the probate process in two weeks. But without a will, it may take two years. It just, it's a lot more expensive and time consuming if you don't have a will. You hear a lot about avoiding probate and that's something that I think would be a lot more important if you were not in Texas because in Texas probate is a simplified and easy and inexpensive process if you have a valid will written by an attorney who knows what they're doing. And so probate doesn't have to be something that you want to avoid, but if you do want to avoid it, the way to do it is to get rid of all your property and not own anything when you die. One way to do that could be a living trust, and a living trust is a very good tool for a lot of people. For other people, it's not a good tool. It really depends on your individual situation. I have handled hundreds of probate cases, and oftentimes it has been a very simple, smooth, easy process. Some of the probate situations I've had, there have been ugly contests between family members, but those are actually not as common as you might think. And then other instances, we have had some really interesting situations where we have had to really research the law and spend a lot of time convincing the judge what the proper thing to do is. I believe that people hire my firm to be their representation because we listen to people and they come in here, they feel comfortable knowing that they are going to be heard and they're not just a number. My current and past clients would say that this firm really cares about them and that we really take care of the details so that uh, everything is put into their decree that needs to be in there or into their order that needs to be there. We believe client communication is very important. Every time that we hear something from opposing counsel or from the other party, we will notify the client about what's going on in their case. We return phone calls that day or the very next day, and we check our emails several times a day. We're a small firm and the advantage of working with a small firm is that you get to know all of the staff of the firm and all of the staff of the firm gets to know you. My law firm is different from other firms because we really make a point to make sure that everybody on staff knows what's going on with all the cases. We sit down together and go over all the cases together as a staff and we um, pray for our clients and we pray with our clients. If you have a loved one that passes away and they had a will, it's important to find the original will. Bring the original will with you at your initial consultation to probate that will. If that loved one did not have a will, then you need to have at least three people who are not related, who are not going to get any property, who are willing to testify about the family history. And your initial consultation will need to go through that person's um, whole history as far as their parents, their children, their spouses, when they were married when they were divorced, when their spouse passed away, whether their children are still living, whether they're minors or not minors. We get into a lot of detail if there's no will. 